standing here on Sanibel Island at our first church that we came to over 40 years ago in 1979. What a journey. I mean, this is a place where it's hard to believe. I was walking around the property and it was like, oh, this was, this happened 20 years ago. And I reminded myself, no, actually this happened 40 years ago. I mean, my, my kids were conceived here. Well, I picked out the fan in the building and some of the decorative stuff. It's all kind of gone to shambles. But you know, one thing that hasn't is the faithfulness of God. God has been so faithful. I remember coming here being a scared, timid, you know, bound up, hurts, pain. Even though I'd accepted Jesus and was following him, there was a lot of stuff that needed to be healed in my heart. But I kept trying and stepping forward in the things God asked me to do for him. And I remember my first message that was going to be in with the Sunday school class. I stayed up all night till like almost two, three in the morning, stressing over what it was gonna be, what scriptures, whatever. And I got up that morning and I literally went through everything in three minutes time. And literally my husband looked at me like, what, we've got a 40 minute class here. What happened to her? We hardly knew each other when we got married. He, he had no idea how, how little I had. And you know, that's what I wanna remind you of, if anything. God uses unlikely people. God uses the low down and the weak things of the world to confess found the minds of the wise. And that's what he loves to do. And so I want to bring him strengths and all I can bring him at times are my weaknesses. And he takes them and he does something with them. Who knew that I would be standing in Cape Coral, being a pastor, preaching and teaching God's word, going to the mission field, helping heal other women, raising other women up into ministry. But you know, that's what God does. That's his specialty. He takes, he takes the ashes and he makes beauty out of them. And he wants to do that in your life. If you'll allow him, it's, he's been faithful father to me over the 40 years of being here. I couldn't see what was ahead of me. But now looking back, I see how faithful he has been. And that's what I want you to know, that he is going to be faithful in every step of the way in your life. So if you've got something you wanna share and just uh, maybe let me know uh, what you've learned from God's faithfulness in your life and how maybe you have felt like an unlikely person that God would not use you, let me know, I'd love to hear from you.